Okay guys, in my last video we defined what we mean by a radian, or at least what we mean by radian measurement as opposed to degree measurement. And so, um, since we're very, very probably, if you're tuning into this, comfortable with degree measurement and sketching things in degrees and finding coterminal angles if I give you an angle measurement in degrees and finding reference angles if I give you an angle measurement in degrees, what we want to be able to do is be very, very proficient in doing so with, um, with, oh, sorry, we want to be proficient in doing so with radian measurements. So in order to get very, very comfortable with this, this video is going to be just basically about sketching angles uh, with radian measurements. So let's go ahead and review what the heck we mean by what a radian is. Okay, so we say given, given a circle with some central angle, we'll call this angle theta. Okay, we can, we can define uh, what we mean by radians is this. We say, all right, well, the circle has radius r. It doesn't matter which one of these arms you use here, and it has an arc length s, an intercepted arc uh, s. But basically, in, in our central angle theta, what we know is this: the larger theta gets, uh, you know, like if we were to say rotate our angle out to here instead, you know, I should probably do that in a different color. Um, what this? The larger this angle gets, but what if we went out to here? You know, your arc length would also uh, get larger and larger, and, and your angle would get larger and larger, but the only thing that remains constant this entire circle is the radius. The radius never changes. So we say the definition of number of radians, or how many radians you rotated through, uh, was simply this. We say theta, what theta is here, is equal to how many times the radius fits into s, because the bigger that arc, the more times the radius fits in, but the more times the radius fits in, then the bigger this number uh, will be, bigger your angle. Okay, so we say uh, number of radians is equal to intercepted arc or arc length divided by the radius length. Okay, so one thing we did at the end of my last video was we defined well how many radians must be in a full rotation of a circle. Okay, so. I'm going to try to draw this one a little bit, little bit smaller over here so we leave ourselves some room. We say, okay, so, so if this were my angle here, and my angle is actually one full rotation, we know this is the same thing as a 360 degree rotation, okay? Um, and then the arc, the arc would actually be the entire length around the outside of the circle. We call this S. In this case, I want to point out that S is the circumference of the circle since we're going one full time around, and that's the same thing as 2 pi r. And we have radius length r. So in general, what we could say is, well, 360 degrees is the same as how many radians? And using our formula right here, we get, well, one 360 degree rotation must be equal to S over R, where in this case, theta would be 2 pi R divided by the radius, which is R. And you see that you get your R's to cancel out. So one full rotation is 2 pi, or 2 pi we could write rad. We don't ever really write rad. It's kind of a unitless measure, but here's what we know. Let's just go ahead and start by touching on this fact that one full rotation is 2 pi. So we're going to split up, we're going to split up this circle quite a bit over here. Uh, let's go ahead and start with this. And, and I'd like to imagine that, that yes, uh, we have, well, let's, let's go purple. Purple. Let's go with, say, angles in the standard position. So forgive my circleness here. But we say, okay, so 360 degree rotation would be the same thing as 2 pi radians. I'm not going to write radians. So if that's the case, 2 pi is the same thing as 360 degrees, then what the heck would we mean if we were discussing, say, a 180 degree uh, angle, which is a straight angle. That would be, that would be this angle here. Okay. Well, if, if that angle there is half of this angle here, and half of, you know, 360 is 180, then half of 2 pi would be how many radians a half a rotation of the circle is. So we say a half a rotation is always defined as being 1 pi radian, a, a pi radian, okay? So pi, that's the measure of the angle. If somebody says, hey, you've rotated pi radians. Really what we mean is you've gone 180 degrees. They mean the same thing. Uh, so what, what would be half of 80 degrees? Well, half of 80 degrees is 90 degrees. We get that'd be the same thing as half of pi. So we'll just write it as pi halves. Pi halves, okay? And then uh, what if we rotated, what if we rotated, you know, half of 90 degrees, which is 45 degrees, 45 degrees. Uh, that would be the same thing as half of pi halves, which is half of pi halves is pi fourths. Okay, so kind of setting up this, this whole scheme here, these are the numbers we like to memorize quite often. As a matter of fact, we'll do pi thirds in just a moment, and we'll do pi, uh, pi sixths as well and discuss those things. Um, but, but these are very, very convenient angles. So now, what if, we, what if we necessarily wanted to discuss pi thirds? Okay, well, the interesting thing is I actually wanted to construct a new circle for pi thirds and pi sixths, and we can put all the pieces together. 
Um, but the bottom line is this. Uh, the numbers we want to typically memorize have to deal with uh, pi rotations, you know, two pi rotations. Two pi just means a full rotation. Pi halves, pi fours, pi thirds, and pi six. So if this is pi, one pi rotation is 180 degrees. You know, often we look at 30 degree angles and 40, you know, 45 degree angles and 60 degree angles. What if we had like a 30 degree rotation? Okay, so 30 degrees would be like, you know, something like this right here, 30 degrees. I would want to know well, how many radians is this? Um, I guess what I would do is I would ask you to think, well, how many times does 30 fit into 180 evenly? Like how many of these 30 degree angles can we fit in? Well, we got this one here, that one there. You know, we can say here's another 30 degree angle. Three 30 degree angles would make 90 degrees. Four 30 degree angles would make 120. Five 30 degree angles would make 150. And then it would take six of these, six of these 30 degree angles to make a full 180 degree rotation or a pi radian rotation. You say, how many radians is this? Well, if it's a sixth of 180, then, then in radians, a 30 degree measurement would be a sixth of pi, which is 180 degrees. So we'd say a 30 degree rotation is defined as being a pi sixth rotation. Okay, moving right along, what if we said, okay, so 60 degree rotations, we often look at 60 degree rotations, which, which if you want to keep in the back of your head right now is two of these 30 degree rotations. But we say, okay, so pi sixth, uh, whoops, sorry, I didn't mean to say that, uh, 60 degrees, if this was 60, 60 degree rotation right here, we want to know how many radians is that? Well, again, we know that there are pi radians in, in a 180 degree rotation, that's true, and, and we know that it would take three 60 degree rotations, so like one of those, another one, and another one, to make a, a 180 degree rotation. So in other words, 60 degrees fits into 183 times, or is a third of 180. So a 60 degree rotation would be also a, a third of, a, six, a 60 degree uh, angle, okay, rotation, is a third of 180 degrees, so, so in radians this would be a third of pi. Third of pi, so we say pi thirds, pi thirds. Okay, so important things to have scribbled down. Well, I'll tell you what, honestly, we need to know uh, certain measurements, and, and I've kind of expended all my room here, so I'm going to, you know, bear with me here. We're going to open up uh, a, new, a new window here, inches. Okay, we'll pop this out over here. Um, span that a little bit. Fill it in with black here so we can see it a little bit better. Um, but let's go ahead and write down what we know. It is the case that... There we go. Maybe. No, that's not what I want to do yet. We'll fill it in. There we go. Now, now I want to do this. Thank you for being patient. We want to classify all of these common angles that we see often in terms of radians. So if you're taking notes, these would be the ones you would want to write down. We say 360 degrees is the same as 2 pi radians. Uh, therefore, 180 degrees is equal to just pi radians, which is half of 2 pi. Half of 180 is 90. We know 90 is half of pi then. Okay, so pi halves. Uh, sorry, my handwriting is very large. Uh, 60 degrees. Now, I, I hate to interject here before we get to a 45. Uh, but 60 degrees, we said 60 degrees is the same thing as a third of pi, keeping in mind that pi is the same thing as 180 degrees here. 60 degrees is a third of that. 45 degrees, which is a fourth of excuse me, a fourth of 180 degrees, like 43, it would take four 45 degree angles to make 180, so it takes four pi fourths to make a full pi. Another way to look at that is uh, pi fourths is half of pi halves. In other words, 45 degrees is half of 90 degrees. And we say 30 degrees. These are our common angles we often deal with. 30 degrees is a sixth of pi. In other words, if pi is a 180 degree rotation, if they mean the same thing, then a sixth of that would be 30 degrees because a sixth of 180 is 30. All right, these being listed over here, this video was about sketching angles uh, in radian measurement. Okay, so, so let's go ahead and start talking about that then. We say, okay, so what if, what if I gave you theta and I say, okay, so theta is 2 pi, 2 pi over 3. First things first, Let's go ahead and draw in our coordinate axes here. And we say, okay, so well, we seem to be discussing pi thirds. And what I would like to do is get you to start interpreting, interpreting this as two times pi over three. I never write it like that. I never do. I'm just doing it for the sake of this example. But, but what we know is this. Pi thirds is the same as a 60 degree rotation. We're also very well aware that uh, you know, half of a full rotation around the entire thing is just pi. 
So if I'm discussing pi thirds, which of which I have two of them, but we say pi thirds, then I could necessarily imagine this 180 degree rotation as being split up into three equal size pieces here. You know, I've got this piece here, this piece here, this piece here. Those are thirds of a pi rotation. And we're saying I have two of these. Okay, so two of these pi thirds or two of these pi thirds would be two 60 degree angles if you're talking about degrees, but this would be a two pi thirds rotation. In other words, I have two of these pi thirds measurements. Okay, so pi thirds is a very, very common measurement we use all the time. Uh, I'll even switch over to say like, how about an orange? You know, we don't go orange very often, kind of an orange. So what if I wanted to do now a new theta? New theta, we'll do it on the same set of coordinate axes here. And I wanted to do four of these pi sixth rotations. We often talk about a pi sixth rotation. Okay, so, so that being said, uh, the first thing you might notice is this. This is actually reducible. And when you reduce this, your four and your, your six there, it becomes two pi thirds. So the angle I've just written will be the same angle that we've drawn over here, which was 120 degrees in degrees, but two pi thirds in radians, or two thirds of a, of a pi rotation, which of course a pi rotation is 180 degrees. Um, so here we go, uh, four pi six, we know this is the same thing as four of these pi six things. So what is pi six? Well, we said pi six, looking at this, pi six is the same as 30 degrees. So what we, we, you know, we can do is split this up mentally. We say, well, if one pi rotation is just a straight angle, a straight angle. Um, why don't we draw it over here? Uh, straight angle here um, is, is one full pi. There's pi. We want to split this up into six equal size pieces each of which is like 30 degrees. So we say one, two, three, four, five, six. So we say of these pi that have been split into six equal pieces, pi six, we have four of them. So we'd say, okay, so now sketching this, we say one, two, three, four of these pi six things, keeping in mind that one pi six is 30 degrees. We're really saying when we say four pi six, we're saying we have four 30 degree angles or four, four sixths of the way over to pi. Okay, so we would label this as four pi sixth. Four pi sixth is the measurement of this angle right here. Theta equals four pi sixth, which is the same thing as two pi thirds, okay? So now I've started you off with kind of baby angles. What if we, what if we necessarily talked about, you know, theta being something a little bit more expansive? We say three pi halves. Three pi halves, we talk about three pi halves from time to time. Uh, so three pi halves, where would that be? Okay, so again, we're starting off with this concept of just pi, <clears throat> knowing that pi rotations, two pi rotations is a full rotation, and pi is half of that, it's the same as 180 degrees. We're saying we have three pi halves. So if this entire thing from here to here is a pi rotation, now we're talking about uh, pi halves. We have, we have three of these pi halves things. So what was a pi half? Well, half of pi, looking over here, half of pi, pi halves, was a 90 degree rotation. So when we say we have three of those, we're really saying we have three 90 degree rotations. Another way to think about this, again, is this. If we took pi and we split it in half, okay, so we split it here. There's half of pi right there. So one of those would be half of pi. Two of those would be two pi halves. We actually have to keep going down here, down here, okay? So we'd say uh, there's a pi half. There's another pi half. Here's another pi half or half of pi. We say this is a three pi halves rotation. In other words, three 90 degree rotations is the same as a 270 degree angle. So we'll do a video in a minute on how to convert from degrees to radians and vice versa. But the bottom line is this. When we talk about a uh, radian measurement, okay, uh, we necessarily are just talking about the number of fractions of a pi rotation or fractions of a 180 degree rotation. And it's easy to just kind of split up the, the pi there into what you're talking about, pi six, pi thirds, pi fours, what, pi halves? Uh, how many pi rotations? So, so what if we had, uh, you know, we'll throw one more in here. What if we had like four pi? Four pi, okay. Well, we know this. We know a pi rotation is 180 degrees. 180 degrees, this is pi. To go from, from here over to here would be a pi rotation. We're saying we have four of these pi rotations. So this is actually gonna be a rotation that would take us around four times. Also keep this in mind. This is also two pi. One full spin would be two pi radians, okay? So we said four pi, that's twice the amount of two pi, or four times the amount of pi. So we can look at this two different ways, but we say, here's a pi rotation, here's two pi rotations, three pi, four pi rotations. Or in other words, uh, if, if two pi uh, is one rotation and we want four pi, then, then we'd go two 
two pi rotations. In other words, we'd go two full rotations, which is this right here, which would be the same as a 720 degree angle. Okay, so I know I mentioned we're going to talk about reference angles in this video, but, but uh, how about we tack that on to the next one?